Okay, guys, I'm about to do a rest the recipe for homemade pizzas. Now, this pe this is going to make two personal pizzas. I made a big one before for the family, but today nobody's home but me and Monte, my oldest son. So I'm going to make um, a pizza for the both of us. And it's only two ingredients. And the ingredient says one cup of self-rising flour and five ounces of plain yogurt. I'm using um, uh, what Chobani, I guess it's pronounced Chobani, Greek yogurt, and it's plain, and it's a plain non-fat yogurt. So I'm gonna use five ounces of this. And these are the only two ingredients for the crust. Okay, I'm going to use my my scale to measure. Let's stir this a little bit. A little liquidy on the top. I want it to be um, creamy all the way through. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, let me turn this on. And let's set the bowl here. Change it to zero, and I want five ounces. Oh, that's over five. I want a little too much over. See if I can get a little bit out. Okay, now. Oh wow, this is something. Okay, I'm gonna keep it at that. It's at 508. So I'll keep it at that. So after that, I just mix these together. And anytime you're dealing with flour, <laughs> it's always gonna be a somewhat of a messy job. But you just keep mixing and blending it together till it forms like a dough. And you'll see it once it's done anyway, because I'm going to have to flatten it out. start using my hand now. Okay. I'm just going to put it down here now. Okay, I'm going to work it all in together. Yeah, this is definitely a messy job. flour because now it's time to oh. Oh. okay so it basically has formed a ball of dough as you can see okay like I said this is going to make two personal pizzas Okay, so oh, messy, messy, messy. I'm gonna use this. I don't wanna put my hand in the bag because it has this stuff all over it. So I'm just gonna get some more flour to sprinkle down on the board. 
and of course I put too much. Okay, that's good like that, and you just move it around on the fork with the flour. This is what keeps it together. Okay, now it's an actual dough. Now it's a dough, so I'm going to make it into a ball. And I'm going to break it in half. Break it into two bowl pieces, and I'm gonna set one in the bowl. And this one, I'm gonna start working on it to roll it out. And I actually remember to get my rolling pin this time. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this out into. Hope you guys can see. Roll into a flat. Flat dough, as flat as I can get it. Because it's definitely going to rise. I'm going to get it as round as I want it, but, oh, well. Okay, that's pretty flat, so... Just need more table space. So this is what it's looking like right now. And I'm gonna about, I'm about to put it on the pizza tray so I can put it in the oven and let it bake for two to three minutes. And then I'm gonna take it back out and um, put the toppings on it. Okay, so I'm about to put this in the oven. Then I'm gonna take it back out to put the topping on, toppings on it. And um, I'll be back right after I do that. Okay, guys, I'm back with the pizza crust. I um, put this in the oven for three minutes. Now I'm going to I'm going to top it. I'm using mozzarella cheese. I have it in the sandwich bag because I buy big bags of it, and um, I just separate it because I don't need to use it all at one time. And she, a lot of cheese don't last long. So we're doing uh, pepperonis and, and cheese. And uh, I'm <laughs> mad at myself. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil. Spray it across with some olive oil. And I need to get a spoon. Or since it's my pizza, I can work it out with my fingers. But you might, if you're fixing it for someone else, you would want to use a spoon. More than likely the back of a spoon or a basting brush, which is what I usually use. But anyway, you put your tomato sauce on it. And this is tomato sauce. That, right? I didn't know I didn't have any pizza sauce. So good thing I have tomato sauce. Okay, so do that, and um, what I do is, put a I'm going to put a towel and season under here because I don't actually have pizza sauce, and something else I didn't get that I need to get is garlic powder, so I need to get my garlic powder. Too. 
So I'm putting garlic powder. So tomato sauce, Italian seasoning, garlic powder. Now I'm going to, I like cheese, so I'm going to put some cheese on it. Sorry. Just putting a little bit of cheese on this part. Okay. Now I'm going to put some pepperonis on it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more cheese to the top. Like I said, I love cheese, so. Oh, I'm going to add some more garlic powder. And we're going to add some whole oregano. Which is whole oregano is an Italian mix, but I'm just adding some more. And I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Does this beach thing? I don't know if it's some type of timer that's set in it or something. I have no idea, but this is how it's looking right now. And I'm about to put it in the oven and then I'll be back when it's done. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. So it's done. So that's how you uh, make uh, the homemade two ingredient pizza. So thanks for watching, and this is the V, which is me, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys again on the next video, and thanks again for watching.